what if I was a, 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 a account manager? Like in Acumatica, you have this. Let me show the equivalent dashboard in data self. So this is kind of the equivalent um, salesperson dashboard in data self. The idea is as a salesperson, when I log into Acumatica, I should see something like this. The idea here is help the account manager to see where they are with their metrics that they're accountable for. So the left side of the, this dashboard shows the main KPIs they're responsible for. I'm showing sales velocity metrics, but this could be anything, could be quotas, could be gross profit, whatever they're responsible for, for show them right off the bat with these main numbers. Then the next thing is show them front and center things they should be working today. So in this example, I have open opportunities that might come from uh, Acumatica CRM or might come from other ERP, uh, CRM systems like Salesforce and whatnot. And when it's supposed to close, today, this week, whatever it is. But anyway, these are the to-dos that I need to do today. Take a look and see what, what my day is going to be look like so I can plan accordingly. The top right corner is something that I'm so amazed that so many companies don't do a good job. Usually salespeople have a good chunk of their income based on commission. And the idea is many organizations just show the actual commission at the end of the month once all the numbers are crunched. And actually many salespeople throughout the month spend their own time trying to calculate how much money they're gonna make this month. It's such a waste of you know, time and resources. The idea is usually with data self, we can usually completely automate the calculation of commission uh, and show commissions as you go. In this example, I have here uh, for the past two months on a daily basis, the sales accumulating throughout the month for both months, as well as the commission accumulating and also showing what the sales goals uh, 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 is. So the idea is keep salespeople knowing how well they're doing against their quota, as well as how much money they're making uh, out of commission. Keep them uh, uh, motivated. The bottom right corner has something that for some organization is so critical. The idea is salespeople should keep a, a, a pulse of hot performers as well as getting cold performers. Uh, the idea here is who's hot or what products or services are hot. Maybe where it is hot, by the same token, who's getting cold, what products and services are getting cold, and where is getting cold. Let me show some example. I'm gonna click who's hot. So in this example, I'm looking at the who's hot out of the box in data self. Uh, two ways that we look at who's hot. One is top customers by sales this period. So we have the customers in a descending order. And what is this period? Well, out of the box right here, I'm looking at this year to date, but I could easily choose quarter, month, rolling periods. So very easy to change the period. Um, the other way that look at uh, who is hot is also by top sales growth since prior period. In this example, I'm looking at last year to date versus this year to date and who's growing the most. Maybe these customers are not big yet, but they're growing rapidly. And that's because we define them as who's hot. And suppose you're looking at this list and you want to see more details. You know, let's say I pick a few of these customers and want to see exactly what products they purchased last year, last period, this period, and how, this, how it's growing. I just pick what I want and I click see details. And then I drill into another subsection of this dashboard showing for each one of those customers the products they purchased last period, this period, in the variance dollar and percentage. So pretty straightforward. And I have the same perspective for what's hot. So now I'm looking at products or services. What is hot, looking from a geography standpoint, can be country, can be state, territories and whatnot. And what if you, know, you don't care about sales? Maybe you wanna see gross profit, you know, who's hot from a gross profit standpoint? Or who's, gross, who's hot from a, I don't know, quantity ship standpoint? You just come to the measure and you pick a different measure. If you wanna see from a gross profit standpoint, there it is, my whole dashboard now changes to show who's hot from a gross profit standpoint. It's that easy, it's that simple.
things of advanced analytics that we provide. Now, sometimes even more important than who's hot is who's getting cold. So let me click the, the who's getting cold button here, and I go to this dashboard that shows who's getting cold. Out of the box, we have two ways to measure who's getting cold. Let me actually go back to my sales here. So one way is to typically look at top decline since last period. Again, in this case, I'm looking sales last year to date versus this year to date and who's declining the most. The idea is why are they declining? Can you do something about it? In order to do something about it, you need to know who they are. So this is a pretty easy way to keep track of those big declines. And as you put the mouse over a name of a customer on this chart, you see in the centered area what products are driving the biggest decline for each one of these customers. So this is also one example of the advanced analytics capabilities that you have to have a solution like DataSelf to really take advantage of. Very insightful. On the right side, we have an exception reporting. In this case, it's no sales. So who was buying last year to date, but not at all this year to date? And the question is why? Can you do something about it? And by the same token, if you put the mouse over, you can see what products are driving the biggest decline. In this case, the total decline in sales from last year to this year. Alrighty, so this is the um, um, overview of our salesperson dashboard. Um, actually, there's one more component here. Suppose I want to see more details about my customers. I can click the customer sales button and I go to the other section that shows in whatever period, like in this case, I'm looking at this quarter, but I could change very easily the periods. So in this case, in this quarter, I'm looking all for all customers, all the sales, all the details, all the products being sold this quarter, and year over year trends by month, and also accumulated throughout the year for the past three years for all of these customers. So quarterly information, as well as year over year trends. Now, what if I want to see a specific customer? I can come here, click this, and, and, and choose, let's say, Sacramento Industrial Supply. Right here, I click on it. Now, I'm filtering the whole dashboard to only show information for Sacramento Industrial Supply. So here I see the invoice details for this quarter. I can see what products were sold this quarter, as well as I can see year over year trends for this customer for the past three years. And what if I need to call the customer? Do I need to find the phone number? Nope, I just click here, call the customer. And again, if my computer is connected to a phone system, it will place a call. If I'm looking this from a mobile device, it places the call right off the bat. What if I see one of these invoices and I say something is wrong about it? I wanna see what the details are. I can click on the invoice number and it opens in Acumatica that particular invoice number. So very easy to drill down from a high level dashboard into underlying data at any shape or form. Again, in Acumatica, the drill down is usually easy to do from one point to the underlying table supporting that particular data point. In data self, you can go in any direction, any drill, th drill down and drill through. As long as the data is related, we can take you from one place to another place very, very easily. And then we also provide, as I mentioned, more than 5,000 ways to slice and dice your data. Here in the customer view, I have two more buttons that can give me more ways to see customer trends. This is more advanced trend analysis, and this is like you no know, customer loyalty analysis. So if I'm gonna click customer loyalty, I can open a dashboard outside, in this case of Acumatica, that will give me more options. This is also a little out of the box. We have different ways to show customer loyalty. In this particular dashboard, you can tell, let's say, I wanna see which one of, one of my customers have been consistently buying from me more than $15,000 per, per year. So just choose $15,000. And now it aggregates. The blue bar shows customers that have been in this category for four or more years. This shows customers that have been buying more than $15,000 for, for three years, for two years, one year, and why not. Uh, one of our clients actually recently, when they see this dashboard, 
they found out that they had some major issues in their sales commission structure because the new sales commission structure was helping clients get in the door, so they're having no issues getting new cl clients you know, in the, the first year, mm -hmm. but they were not doing a good job retaining the customers, and slowly but surely they would lose traction over time because nobody was looking at that trend. When they saw this dashboard, they realized they had a problem, they hired more people, they changed some of their commission structure, and they were able to reverse the trend because now they know the problem and they were able to fix it. And that's what we have out of the box. Lots of reports with a lot of different insights so you can focus on things that really matter for your business. You don't know what you don't know. And out of the box, we can, we can give inspiration on metrics that have been working for other organizations that are similar to yours so you can you know, make a big impact in your business sooner than later. So uh, that's one, another example out of the box. Let me scroll down to see some other examples. This is the same dashboard, customer loyalty, but inside of Acumatica. Uh, projections by product, by revenues, expenses, whatever you want to do, you can do projections very easily. Very powerful algorithm to calculate projections. 